I cannot believe we are one month away until Apple released the iPhone 16 being in September and I think I am long overdue to give you guys the latest and greatest iPhone 16 leaks and rumors but before we even get into that a quick word from my sponsor introducing the time talk aviator t33 chest bag and without a doubt this is going to be a part of my edc everyday carry this feature a water resistant nylon fabric sleek detailed design a door flex buckle and most importantly you have rfid blocking which protects against contactless thieves on the streets by preventing scanning of cards and passports keeping your belongings safe and secure you also have versatile wear options so you can put it on your back put it on your chest switch with the adjustable strap you have tri compartment storage so neatly organize and store your daily essentials so in this case i have the 3.5 liter so you could store things like the dji osmo pocket 3 a bottle of water it also comes in the 1.5 liter option so you could store things like your iphone or airpods or credit cards it is comfortable and it's lightweight so it's designed to be light and ergonomic making it suitable for all day wear this is easily a must-have for travelers and adventurers alike it is offered in black gray and khaki i don't link in the description thank you so much time talk for sponsoring a portion of this video now i want to kick things off with apple intelligence now we saw this revealed at wwdc past june and everybody was completely blown away everybody was eager to test out this apple intelligence ai and we finally got it with the release of the iOS 18.1 beta. Now I did install it on my personal iPhone 15 and I absolutely love Apple intelligence to the brim. I love the fact how we have writing tools so you can quickly proofread things. You can make things sound more professional, change the tone. Then we have improvements to Siri where you can talk to Siri more natural. It's a breath of fresh air and it's something that once you have Apple intelligence, being the iOS 18.1 installed, if you have an iPhone 15 Pro or even the new iPhone 16, it's gonna be something that you cannot live without. I wanna make a separate video just covering Apple intelligence as a whole. It's Siri 2.0, making things leagues better compared to the original Siri. And we still have more features that the beta currently in the time of this recording doesn't have just yet. So yeah, so that's gonna make its way onto all of the iPhone 16s, 16, 16 Plus, 16 Pro, and 16 Pro Max. Now, it is rumored that the 16 Pro and the Pro Max will have a two terabyte option. So I cannot believe it. I have the one terabyte iPhone 15 Pro Max. If you thought one terabyte wasn't enough, <laughs> Apple has you covered with two terabytes and they'll happily charge you a grip for it or a kidney. So I'm using 782 gigabytes of data out of the one terabyte on my phone and I only have 242 gigabytes of storage left. And trust me, I'm not even lying, this is 100% true. So you guys can see, one terabyte, I love it. I do not regret it one bit. And two terabyte, I see myself probably getting, but I can only imagine that eye-watering price tag maybe being $1,800 for an iPhone. The storage will likely start at 128 gigabytes for the base, the plus, and even the 16 Pro, but the 16 Pro Max model, just like the 15 Pro Max, will start at 256 gigabytes. But there is a split chance that all of the Pro models will start at 256. Now, Apple will bring the five-time telephoto lens Tetro Prism that we saw on the iPhone 15 Pro Max. It's gonna be on the iPhone 16 Pro. So those same exact insane zoom levels that we saw on the iPhone 15 Pro Max, it's finally gonna make its way down to the iPhone 16 Pro. But it's also possible that we could see the same treatment to the regular iPhone 16 series. And that's gonna be very interesting considering that we don't even have a third telephoto lens. So we gotta wait and see how Apple is gonna work their magic. Maybe with Apple intelligence, they could be able to add in an extra lens without showing the lens. I'm just kidding, we never know. It is rumored that we will see a 48 megapixel camera on the ultra wide, and this is gonna be a well needed change because the ultra wide is usually kind of fuzzy. So this upgrade will make the ultra wide more sharper. Now in terms of the regular 16 and the 16 plus, as you guys saw before, 
we are gonna have a vertical lens camera just to accommodate spatial video recording for the Apple Vision Pro. And yeah, this is a nice little throwback to the iPhone 10 or even the iPhone 11 where we had the vertical camera setup. And I would say this looks pretty neat. The iPhone 16 series look pretty good. Now, as for the Pro and the Pro Max models, it's gonna look exactly the same like the 15. There's a chance that Apple could potentially polish up the titanium finish, giving it a more similar look to stainless steel while keeping that titanium material. Cause believe it or not, some people think the stainless steel looks and feel more premium than the titanium feel. But me personally, I will go with raw titanium any day of the week. Just looking at the longevity of this titanium finish, no scratches whatsoever. And even the fingerprints are very minimal. It's very, very hard to even notice. So this polished titanium is gonna bring the best of both worlds. So in a sense, you're getting that shiny finish of the stainless steel while keeping the durability of the titanium. So we gotta wait and see how that's gonna look. We are gonna see a brand new color, just like every year. The color is gonna be rose gold. Finally, we're getting a rose gold iPhone. It's been since 2016, the 2017, since we had rose gold with the iPhone 7 and it is nice to see this making its return to a pro phone. I can only imagine how that's gonna look like. It's gonna look absolutely stunning. Of course, I'm gonna be unboxing every single iPhone 16 Pro color and the regular iPhone 16. So if you guys wanna see that, make sure you guys subscribe with notifications on. Rose Gold is gonna be replacing natural titanium. Now, taking a look at these dummy units that Sony Dixon shared on X, you can see that the black color is looking a little bit more darker compared to the iPhone 15 Pro series. So this is something that we could see a darker shade, but maybe it's to match with the Space Black MacBook Pro. We gotta wait and see. In terms of the regular iPhone 16 models, this is being the more fun colors. We have black, white, blue, green, and of course that rose gold color is still present here. And these colors, actually look pretty good compared to the iPhone 15 or even the iPhone 14 where we had more of a muted color. These look pretty good. And I can only imagine we have that frosted glass back and it's gonna look well with the aluminum finish around. These are gonna look pretty good in real life. So it's rumored that we could see the capture button work its way up to all of the iPhone models. And the capture button is very interesting. It's very similar to the action button that we saw last year, but now, this is a dedicated camera button. So if you press on it lightly, it's gonna be able to focus. And if you press it all the way down, it's gonna allow you to snap the picture. Very similar to a DSLR camera. So all my camera heads, you guys already know, if you press on the, the shutter button lightly, it's gonna focus. You press it all the way down, it's gonna take the picture. So the iPhone 16 is gonna incorporate that same thing thanks to haptic technology. So haptics is gonna give you the illusion that you're pressing a real button, but in actuality, it's just a flat surface. So Apple is really good with that. Cannot wait to test that one out. And I'm very curious to see the camera improvements in general. Maybe I might compare it to a mirrorless camera and even my trip from Arizona, but I took everything on my iPhone 15 Pro Max and these pictures came out absolutely amazing. So I'm curious to see how Apple is gonna step that up. Now also we have a very sketchy rumor from DigiTimes we may see some minor changes to the Face ID system to all models. We don't know exactly what that change is gonna be, but we could see some Face ID updates. All right, time to talk about my favorite topic, the battery life. Now the batteries are getting bigger. The iPhone 16 Pro and the 16 Pro Max is gonna be 3,577 milliamps and 4,747 milliamps respectively. So we see in bigger batteries, which is gonna help with the battery life altogether. And of course, bring in the efficiency of the A18 Pro chip. But of course, I'm gonna be doing a day in the life. I'm gonna be doing some battery drain tests, some charge tests. I'm gonna be doing everything on this channel. So you guys definitely wanna get subscribed with notifications on because it's gonna be pretty wild next month. But what's, really, but what's really interesting is Apple is planning on using metal batteries so it's more efficient and it's easy to swap, uh, changing out the battery, of course, but it's only gonna be available for the regular iPhone 16 and the 16 Pro. I remember the EU made a little proposal that 
all phones should have a removable battery so users can swap them. So I'm not sure if Apple is just gearing that up and just only starting it with the smaller phones first and then making their way up to the larger phones. And speaking of and speaking of the battery and doing charge tests, we are finally gonna be getting faster charging on the iPhone. So going from a 27 watts to a whopping 40 watt, <laughs> I can't even talk, to a whopping 40 watts, that's a pretty big deal for an iPhone. Now, we hoping Samsung would do the same, give us faster charging, but I'm definitely gonna be doing a charge test Cannot wait to do that. That's gonna be very interesting this year and potentially even comparing it to the iPhone 15 Pro Max, that's gonna be a good test to test out. Now MagSafe is also getting a charge and boost too as well, going from 15 watts to 20 watts. You guys remember when the iPhone 15 first came out, it was hot to the touch, users was getting warning messages and with the iPhone 16 series, we should see some thermal improvements and heat management. So now we're gonna have a larger graphite sheet inside. So that's gonna help absorb less heat. So making things a little bit more efficient and that's also gonna help with the battery life too as well. Cause as we know, battery and heat doesn't get along at all. In terms of the display, the 16 Pro and the Pro Max is gonna be a little bit more bigger. So the 6.1 inch is gonna be a 6.3 inch display and the 6.7 inch Pro Max is gonna be a 6.9 inch display. But in terms of the regular 16 and the 16 Plus is gonna have the 6.1 and the 6.7 respectively. The bigger screens are only reserved for the Pro models. And also Apple is gonna reduce the bezels even further. So curious to see that too as well. So as you guys can see, this is gonna be a S upgrade for the iPhone and that's not necessarily a bad thing. Apple is putting all the eggs into Apple intelligence. So more than likely, this is gonna be an AI focused iPhone. So yeah, so that is the iPhone 16 series. It is set to release sometime in September. Of course, I'm gonna be covering it day one and you guys don't wanna miss anything. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, I appreciate it with a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel with notifications on and other than that, I hope you all have a simple day. Peace.